It has literally been a year since I have last uploaded. What's going on guys? It's Angel and welcome back to another video. I have not said that in literally a year. So I have been putting this video off for an extremely long time now, but I just want to get this video done and over with. I have been honestly not really dreading making this video, but just been so deterred from wanting or from the idea of making this video. I don't know why, but I just really did not want to make this video, but at the same time, I felt like making this video before I made any other moves was necessary, I guess. In this video, I just wanted to talk about why it has been a year since I've last uploaded and why I even quit in the first place because if I'm going to be totally honest I didn't really give you guys the whole backstory as to why I stopped making videos I kinda just blamed it all on Fortnite which Fortnite don't get me wrong was uh, actually like one of the biggest causes <laughs> it's just, at the time during chapter 3 Fortnite was just absolutely garbage it still stands that Fortnite was a huge reason as to why um, I, why I stopped, but Fortnite was just not the only cause. One of those reasons being because of the fact that my mindset at the time when I made videos was absolutely horrible. I want to share with you guys this clip from Slide's video from a while ago when he was talking about um, how he was quitting Fortnite and the reasons why. I just want to share with you guys this one clip from the video that when I was watching it just kind of hit me personally because I honestly really resonated with what he said in that clip. Like I felt as if that was almost exactly the same thing that I was going through when I had quit content as well as after I had stopped making videos. Don't get me wrong, I still want to upload, but recently I've realized I just totally forgot what I started YouTube for. I thought it would be fun, which it was at first, but then I totally lost my passion for uploading since I started doing it because I felt like I had to. And that's bad for me and every one of you guys supporting me. If I don't enjoy what I'm putting out, I shouldn't expect you guys to either. I just want you guys to trust me. So I'm starting with quitting Fortnite. I was a perfectionist and I would compare myself to other creators, to professional creators actually. It would just demotivate me entirely f from making content because I just saw that my content was not as good as good as theirs, at least in my eyes. Making YouTube videos is something that I have always wanted to do. It's always been my passion. It's always been what I've aspired to do. It's always been what I wanted to do full time when I was older. I just felt like if I didn't make these really awesome, cool, flashy, professional grade videos that I would just never attain that goal. I remember I would watch videos from YouTubers about um, becoming a YouTuber and starting off as a YouTuber and they would say to always start with what you have equipment wise that it was going to take time before you got good at making content and that for the first long while, your content probably would not be that great. But over time, you would get better equipment, and you would get more experience making videos, and you would figure out like how to make YouTube videos and things like that. But I had just completely dismissed that advice. And because of that, I fell out of love, or I guess lost passion for making content. I have always wanted this to be my job, so when I started making content, I felt like if I didn't make professional grade content, I would never attain YouTube as my profession. My mindset completely excluded the fact that I was new to making content, and that I was still learning how to make content, and was still trying to get into my groove of the flow of my content, as well as I totally forgot the reason I even started YouTube. I wanted to become a YouTuber so then I could do the same thing that other YouTubers did for me for other people. Growing up I was always bullied. I was always different, you could say. When I was a kid I never had any friends because people thought I was just so weird. 
YouTube means a lot to me because during those times I could always count on being comforted by the content that my favorite creators would make. Ever since then, all I have ever wanted to do was make videos so just like my inspirations did for me, I could create that safe place for other people like me who are outcast. Of course, I wouldn't mind making a lot of money, getting a lot of fame, and living that type of lifestyles that all the big creators live, but that was just never my actual goal. Ever since I was a little seven-year-old, when I had first watched a video of, of some random video from some random Minecraft creator, all I wanted to do was make videos too. At the time, I didn't even know that YouTubers made videos to generate income. I actually thought that YouTubers would work a normal 9 to 5 and at the end of the day make a video for fun. I, I never knew that making videos was their job. And I was okay with that. Like, I was perfectly fine with that idea. So of course, you can imagine when I found out YouTubers made YouTube videos as a job when I was probably 9, that had completely cemented down the desire to make content and I knew from that moment on that I was going to be a YouTuber no matter what. But because of my horrible mindset, because of my perfectionism, because of the fact that I the fact that I'd always compare myself with other YouTubers, I lost my passion for making content. I ruined it for myself, basically. I never had fun making videos. I when I first started making videos, I didn't let it be like a hobby. I didn't I didn't first start making the videos and have and like uh have fun making the videos and figure out how to make the videos. I just stressed about the fact that my videos weren't good. And that absolutely killed me. And you can imagine that it did not help with the fact that I didn't even really have the time to be making video. During that time, it was my freshman year, and I was extremely overworked. I mean, I'd be doing 80 to 90 hours of schoolwork a week. I'm not really gonna try to explain why that is. I don't really want to get into all the details and logistics about why I was working so much for my during my freshman year of high school. There was that happening in my life and I I was extremely burnt out to the point where I felt as if the amount of work I was going that I was doing was never going to end like there was never going to be a summer break basically. I mentally was in the dumps as well as physically health-wise was not really that great either. Having that stress of every video feeling as if I had to make the video, not that I get to make the video. Basically feeling like each video was actual work that my life, my livelihood depended on instead of it just being something fun like it was or was supposed to be on top of the other 80 to 90 hours of work I was doing, on top of that, it just simply was not bearable. Because these YouTube videos you are not easy to make. The biggest thing that I get asked by people who don't really know what it's like to be a YouTuber is, is it as easy as it looks? And every YouTuber will answer, no, it is not as easy as it looks. Sure, you know, you go and watch an 8 to 15 minute video and it doesn't look like hard work at all, but behind that 8 to 15 minute video is 6 to 8 to probably 10 hours of production, like production work time. And people just don't understand that. And so it's like when I'm doing 80 to 90 hours of work a week, having to work an extra 6 to eight to sometimes even ten hours on top of that just I it just wasn't it wasn't worth it it wasn't bearable what was an issue also but really is no longer an issue well it still kind of is an issue but not as much as it was before is that I don't know what to make content on now that's not the case now I know what content I can make but that still does have some limitations like right now in this era of YouTube we're going through like a content drought I guess you could say and that's partly because of the whole new creator game like how like there's now like a meta I guess you could say for editing videos like videos have to be edited a certain way to have audience retention just there's all these things that are like that I just don't like about the quote-unquote 
creator game, I guess you could say. It's something that the Ebby family had talked about in one of their most recent videos. It's also something that I resonate with. I'll probably clip that section and put it in like the description or something. I guess you could say that's why I stopped making videos. I was a perfectionist. I would compare myself to professional creators. I basically killed off my passion for making the content. And the reason why it's taken me so long to talk about this is just because really this is all so much. Like this whole situation is just so much. There's so many details to it. For the past year and a half, I really did not understand fully how I actually felt about this situation like I do now. And I also just have lost determination to keep going. However, with that being the case, I definitely think that I can rekindle the fire, I guess. That sounds really weird, but <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying. I definitely think I can get back to a place where I'm passionate and determinate again because I want this to work out. I don't not want to do this when I'm older. I still want YouTube to be my career. I still want to do the same thing that I talked about, like create a safe place for outcasts. I don't know. I just randomly, quite spontaneously recently, seeing how much support you guys have been giving me on the channel still to this day, I've just really wanted to get back into making content. It's taken a year and a half, but I now kind of am like, you know what? I don't think I'm finished. I don't think that I'm done. I think that there's still a story that I have to make. Now, does this mean that I'm going to come back to YouTube now, like, full-time? Not exactly. Because here's the thing. I'm now in my junior year of high school. And life is definitely better than it was my freshman year, but it is still just not great. I mean, I'm basically doing instead of 80 to 90 hours a week, 70 to 80 hours a week. Making content is more manageable now. The thing is though, I still just have so much going on in my life, as well as I don't want to rush things, because I really, I want to kind of restart with what I have and work through things and understand that I have to make content before I get good at making content. I want to take this slow and easy and I want to make sure that I don't repeat the whole bad mindset thing that I had going on before. Not returning to content exactly yet. I'm going to, I plan on making videos after this video. Like I have video ideas. I've been uh, con like thinking about videos and making content and stuff like that. And with this newfound desire of making content again and giving this another shot. I've been planning some stuff. I've been working on some stuff. I'm excited to get back into this. It's not going to be like a consistent thing because like I said, I just have too much on my plate, but I will for sure be making uh, videos here and there. So I've got to wrap up this video though because it's getting quite long and I don't know if I'm actually gonna... I think I am already over the amount of... I think I've already passed like the amount of time I want this video to to be, but I just, I do, I really want to say thank you guys so much for all the support ever since I've quit. After I quit, not only did you guys get me to 600 subscribers, not only did you get me to 700, not only 800, we've surpassed 950 subscribers. I truly thought that I was never going to get to that point on YouTube. I never thought I was ever going to see the day that I was going to be even close to hitting a thousand. We have literally broken analytical categories again. Like I said in my last video where I was talking about how 20 t in 2023 we broke so many analytical categories. Here we are again, breaking those same analytical categories. Thank you guys so much for that. Thank you so much for that support. Like seriously, you do not know how much that means to me. But yeah, with that being said, like I, I'm excited. Honestly, I'm excited to make videos again. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting that like button. And also while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and click that bell so you never miss another video by me. You know, especially if you're like me, you're excited to see what's next in, in my, car my career, I guess you could say. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss it. Because hopefully someday I will look back on this moment and be like, wow. That was so worth it, and I'm so glad that I did that.
But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.